Hello guys and welcome back to another video tutorial series on searching algorithms. And today we are going to discuss one of the most important and most commonly asked question in any technical interview and that is finding the first non-repeating character in a given string. So this question is more or less considered as a starter question for any product based company. Personally speaking, as a recruiter, I normally start picking the interview with this question because this question is a classic data structure and algorithm question which can easily be done with basic knowledge of data structure and algorithms. So it really helps the interviewer as well as the candidate to get familiar during the coding interview session. So I consider this question is a starter question for any product based company. And frankly telling that if you fail to answer this question then it will be very difficult for you to crack the interview because this is quite a basic question that our interviewer will expect you to solve. So without wasting much time, let's deep dive into the solution of this problem so that you can easily answer this question in the most optimized way and can set the environment for your rest of the interview. So let's start with solving today's problem that is finding the first non-repeating character in a given string. So in this problem also I will be giving two solutions, one as a brute force approach and another as an optimized solution. So before start solving this problem, let's first understand the problem. So the problem statement says that we need to find the first non-repeating character in a string. So what does this problem statement means is like we are given a string of character. So if you just count the number of character in the given string, you can see over here the string start with the character as A. And within this string, you can see that the character A is repeating thrice. So the total number of time A appears within this string is three times. Similarly, if you see character B is appearing in this string for only one time. Then comes character G, which is repeating two times within this string. So in this way, we need to calculate the total frequency or the total number of times each character is appearing within this string. And at the end of this calculation, the problem statement says that we need to find out the first non-repeating character in this given string. So over here you can see that total number of non-repeating character within this string is B, C, F and E. But if you see that the first non-repeating character within this string is character B. So the problem statement says that we need to return this B from our algorithm. So I think the problem statement is quite simple and straightforward and it is quite easy to understand. So let's start solving this problem using our brute force approach. But before solving this problem using our brute force approach, I would highly recommend you to pause this video for a moment and think about the solution of this problem so that it will be easy for you to think about the solution during your interview. So hopefully you have got a particular solution to this problem. If not, don't worry, I will be giving you the complete detailed solution of this problem. So let's start solving this problem using our brute force approach. So the brute force approach of solving this problem is quite simple. So I won't be wasting much time in solving this problem using the brute force approach. But definitely I will give you the approach and the algorithm of solving this problem. And also I will be sharing the code in the description below. So don't worry about the code. Let's first understand the solution so that it will be easy for you to solve this question in any programming language. So let's start solving this problem in the brute force approach. So over here you can see that we are given with a string and that is this one. So the most easiest way of solving this problem is like we will start a for loop starting from i equal to 0 till the end of this string. So the first thing that we will do is like we will get the ith element from this given string. And the next step is like we will compare this corresponding character with the remaining characters within this string. So for example, for the first time we get the first character of our string that is A and we will compare A with the remaining string over here. So we will start another for loop that start from J equal to I plus 1 that is the remaining left out array and we will iterate this entire array till the last character of our string. And while traversing this array, we will check whether there is any repeating character within this remaining left out string. 
So if there is a repeating character within this string and so we will move to the next character of our string that is b and in this way we will keep on comparing each and every character of the string with the remaining string that is present and we will check out that whether there is a repeating string or not. And if for a particular character, if there is no repeating element within this remaining string, then we can conclude that that corresponding string is the first non-repeating character within this string. So I hope that is quite an easy and straightforward way of solving the problem. And you can easily understand that to solve this problem, the total complexity of the problem becomes order of n square. Because here for the first time, we are iterating the loop for order of n time and another time over here we are searching for the character within this remaining string. So the total complexity of this problem becomes order of n square. Which is not a recommended way of solving this problem. So let's start solving this problem in the most optimized way where we will be solving this problem in the time complexity of order of n. Which is much more lesser than that of order of n square. So let's start solving this problem in the most optimized way and let's see how we can achieve this goal in the time complexity of order of n. So to solve this problem in the most optimized way is quite simple and easy. So let's start understand the solution of this problem using our whiteboard section. So to solve this problem in the most optimized way, we will be using an additional data structure that will help us in solving this problem in order of n times. So the data structure that we will be using over here is our hash map. So what a hash map exactly does is like the hash map will help us to calculate the total number of occurrence of a particular character within the string. So it is basically a lookup table where we can store the total number of frequency or the total number of times a given character appears within this string. So what we'll do, we will first declare a hash map to solve this problem. So a simple hash map is a data structure that helps to store a key value pair. So over here, what we'll do to solve this problem is like, we will iterate this complete string for once and we will store the frequency of each and every character within our hash map. So let's start with the first character of our string. So over here, the first character is A. So we will see that whether this character A exist in our hash map or not. So in this case, character A doesn't exist in our hash map. So we will insert this character A within the hash map and we will also update the number of times we have encountered this character within this string. So here in this case, we are getting A for the first time. So we will initialize the hash map with the value of 1. Now we will move to the second character that is B. So over here, we will again check that whether the character B exists in the hash map or not. So we will add the character within the hash map and we will also update the value that is the number of time we have encountered this character within the string. Now on the fourth iteration, you can see that we have got the character A over here. So over here, you can see that the value A exists within the hash map. So we will update the corresponding frequency of occurrence within this hash map means we have encountered the character 2 twice within this character until now and we will keep on iterating this entire array in this way. So at the end of the complete iteration our hash map will look something like this. So now it's quite clear that the total number of non-repeating character within the string is B, C, F and E since it is occurring only for one time. But the problem statements say one more thing that we need to find out the first non-repeating character within the string. So to achieve this goal, I think you can easily figure it out that we can iterate over this hash map and can check for the character whose corresponding frequency is 1. And we can easily figure out the first non-repeating character of our string. But this is actually not possible because a normal hash map does not preserve the order of insertion of a given character. Which means that within the hash map, it can be possible that the way we are inserting the character is not arranged in the way of insertion. Because maybe internally the hash map have organized this corresponding data in some different order. Maybe B is at the first, then comes D, C. This can be in a zigzag order. So to achieve this functionality to preserve the order of insertion, we will be using a linked hash map. 
So if you check the property of a linked hash map, how linked hash map is different from a normal hash map is like the link hash map preserve the way of insertion which means the insertion order of the string will be preserved by the hash map internally and if the hash map preserve the insertion order of the character then we can easily conclude that within this link hash map the first character that is having the value as the one is the first non-repeating character within this tree. So I hope you have got the idea that why we are using a linked hash map rather than a normal hash map. So let's make this algorithm more easy to understand using our visual display board. So hopefully you have already got the idea of how we are planning to solve the first non-repeating character in a given string. But let's understand this solution visually so that it will be easy for you to remember during your interview session. So to solve the problem of first non-repeating character in a given string, we will be using an additional data structure which is known as linked hash map which will contain the frequency of the character within our string. So once we are done with the initial setup, we will proceed with our iteration. And we will start our iteration from the first character of our string which is A. So the first thing that we will check that whether the character A that we have got from our string whether that exists within our linked hash map or not. So if the given character is not present within the linked hash map then we will insert the character within our hash map and we will update the frequency by 1. And if the character already exists within our hash map then we will increment the corresponding frequency of the number by 1. And in this way, we will keep on iterating until we get the frequency of all the characters within our string. So at the end of the complete iteration of the string, we can see that our linked hash map, which is actually our frequency map, will look something like this. And looking into this frequency map, you can easily understand that the character A appeared twice in this string, character B appear once within this string, and so on. So now to find the first non-repeating character on this string, we need to iterate over this linked hash map. And we will keep on iterating over this linked hash map until we find a character whose frequency or the total time it appear on the string is 1. So over here you can see character B appear only for once. And thus the first non-repeating character in our given string is B. So the total time complexity of solving this program is order of n since we are iterating the string only for once and the total space complexity of storing the linked hash map is order of n. So I hope the way we are planning to solve this algorithm is quite simple and easy to understand. But still, if you have any doubt, please let me know in the comment section below. So let's start with the implementation of this program using our Java code. So let's start with the implementation of finding the first non-repeating character in a given string using Java. But before that, I would request you that if you like this video, please do like and share this video. And if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss an update from my side and you are always ready for your next interview. So let's start with the implementation part. So let's name the function as finding first non-repeating character. And over here, we will be passing the enter string as our parameter. So as we have discussed, the first thing that we have to do for solving this problem is the most optimized way is we have to first declare a hash map for calculating the frequency of the character. So once we are done with declaring the hash map, the second thing that we have to do is we have to start our iteration from i equal to 0 till the length of this string. And we have to get each and every character from here and we have to check the existence of those characters within our hash map. And if the character exists in our hash map, then we will increment the corresponding frequency of the character. Otherwise, we will put the new entry within our hash map. So over here you can see if the hash map contains the corresponding character, we are incrementing the frequency of that character otherwise we are putting a new entry within our hash map. 
So at the end of this iteration, we get our desired frequency table. Now the next thing what we have to do is we have to iterate over our hash map to find the first occurrence of the character. So over here you can see we are iterating over our hash map and over here we are checking each and every character and we are checking out if the frequency of the character is equal to 1 then we are printing out the first occurrence of the non-repetitive character within our string and thus at the end of this iteration we get our final result and thus we are ending our function over here. So over here if we talk about the complexity of the program the time complexity of the given program is order of n since we are iterating over the character array that is the string for once and since we are storing the frequency of each and every character in a separate data structure that is why the space complexity of the program is also order of n. So I hope you have understand the solution of this program. If you have any doubt do let me know in the comment section below. Also do check out few important link in the description below. I have listed down few of the important questions that you need to prepare during your technical interview. So before moving to our next interview question, I would request you to like and share this video and if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so that you never miss any update from my side and you are always ready for your next interview. So see you on the next video where we will be solving another important problem for your technical interview. So see you on my next video. Thank you.